Hello, everyone. Uh, hi, my name is Naoki Ikeda. I'm the director of uh, Japan Film Festival Los Angeles 2023 this year again. And I'm an actor, director, and producer, and also the director of this film festival. Thank you for you know watching us and thank you for uh, supporting us. So this year we already uh, today the last day for the uh, online worldwide uh, streaming of our film festival. But uh, from the uh, Friday this week, uh, uh, September 15th, uh, we're going to start uh, showing on uh, theater, uh, the in-person, not the theater, sorry, in-person, you know, uh, we're going to start you know, showing the film. But anyway, today I want to introduce you guys, the uh, filmmakers from the, each film that we showed, uh, screened. And uh, uh, this is going to be the, uh, uh, you know, I want to, you know, uh, let you guys connect with each other, not only the, you know, the people of the, the films, but also uh, the audience, you know, and if you could uh, enjoy about the you know, story behind, it's going to be fun, I believe, but anyway, uh, please, uh, uh, you know, stay tuned and uh, enjoy this program. So today, uh, this section is for the, the short film. And I want to, you know, uh, talk with uh, each uh, film. And uh, the first one, it's going to be uh, Canary. And the director, Taka, is here now. So uh, I'm going to introduce Taka. And now let's, you know, uh, hear about the story. So here we go. Taka-san. Hi. Um... So uh, my name is Taka Suwata. Um, I am a director, writer, and editor. And for uh, for Canary specifically, I directed it. Um, and um, yeah, sorry, I'm actually traveling at the moment. I'm connecting to you all uh, in my car, uh, but please bear with it. Um, so uh, my film, Canary, is a short uh, horror film that is uh, 18 minutes long. Um, it is about um, uh, four high school kids stuck in a cabin in a remote location surrounded by these giant spider monsters. Um, and it's really um, uh, sort of like a story within a story. Uh, we have a story of uh, these monsters that have invaded Earth. Um, and these kids are survivors that are in this cabin. Uh, and, um, uh, and the story that unfolds inside the cabin is this, uh, this hierarchy that the kids have created inside the cabin. So you have, uh, if you watch the film, you'll see that there's some uh, bullies that became kind of like the dominant force inside the cabin. And our protagonist, Alan, is uh, sort of the, the prey that is uh, bullied by these kids. So you kind of see this interesting part dynamic, dynamic where you know the, the most strongest force is outside the cabin, trying to hunt all the uh, surviving humans. But inside of the cabin, there's also this dynamic where that is really like kind of like pushing down, uh, having a very psychological uh, negative effect on our protagonist, Alan. So yeah, that is the film. Wow, that's great. So uh, I have many questions, but uh, you know, at the time it's kind of limited. So, uh, but anyway, I have one question about the, the uh, cinematography and uh, the, uh, I think it's kind of, you know, a bit darker, but because it's a horror film, maybe the setting is inside. And uh, but you really make it very beautiful. Is there anything you particularly think? Why is do you know how you why why you shoot that way in a in a like in the cabin or like a, you know those kind of thing? Is there anything you focus on how it looks like that? So um oh can you hear me actually right now? Yeah yeah I can hear. You. Okay cool cool. Um, so, um, yeah, that's an, that's an amazing question. Um, so our biggest goal is to create an immersive experience, you know, like as if you're in like a VR world, you know, or you're at a theme park, even, you know, that, that you actually are living there with the, with the kids. So really, you know, um, uh, if you speaking of, you know, a cinematography, like, uh, you will notice that the camera while we are with the kids in the cabin, it never leaves the cabin. It's always inside the cabin looking either inside or looking outside through windows. Um, so in that way, we wanted to re make it feel like you're inside this cabin with these kids. And also in terms of the, uh, the darkness that we created, yes, again, you know, um, 
they are supposedly you know trying to keep everything dark you know hidden from these monsters outside so um we wanted to also create that environment that kind of like sucks you into this world where it's like completely dark and the only source of light are when it's you know during the day it's the lights that coming in from the cabin uh oh sorry uh, through the windows inside a cabin and at night it's just these like lit uh candles the three to four candles that are like kind of like lighting the um environment so um really it's um it was uh definitely a um purposeful decision it was um uh, what we wanted to do from the beginning to create that immersive feeling and also um spoiler alert but like there are some bright lights that kind of um you'll see uh towards the end of the film and we really wanted to kind of create that gap between like when it's dark it's dark and when it's bright like it's bright so uh really we were going for that effect yeah because i really like you know the way you shoot especially those kind of the tense and it's a horror movie i oh yeah that's that the reason why too you know but but it's I, you know it's 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 maybe if we're gonna watch at the theater i mean that the, the uh screening place it's gonna be different and it will be more much better uh, when we're gonna watch it that's why i can't wait to see it and actually you're kind of really gonna be uh on uh, you know on uh, in-person screening on uh i think it's gonna be the sunday uh mm. from i think five o'clock so uh, uh I, I want the people you know come to watch the film and enjoy the moment yeah so thank you takasan yeah thank you so much so, so um, i be- can't wait to yeah, yeah, I can't wait to um, uh, show it in a in a theater setting. Uh, from my experience, watching it, watching Canary in theater is the best experience uh, because of you know the cinematography, the the big screen, but also the uh, audio design, sound design that we actually put a lot of effort in. So, uh, looking forward to having you guys, you guys come over on the seventeenth at five p.m. So, you'll be there, right? I'll be there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so uh, please, you know, come and uh, let's talk about it then, you know, uh, on Sunday. For sure. Yeah, so thank you very much. I know you are very busy, but, you know, thank you for your time. And I meet you later. I'll see you later, you know. Of course, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Okay. Bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. So thank you very much. So now... Uh, I'm gonna introduce the next film. It's gonna be the the uh, the view from the bottom of the lake. I think it's made in Japan. And uh, today we have uh, Mori San and Ito San, and also I think the actor uh, from the film. It's a uh, uh, Kamizuru San, right? I think uh, that he's gonna be here. So uh, let's. Uh, I wanna you know he, uh, hear about the film from the Mori San first. And uh, then uh, I think uh, Ito-san, also, uh, oh, no, please uh, in- introduce yourself. And also the later, then Tai uh, uh, san right? Yeah, yeah, uh, Tai san right? Yeah, yeah, so uh, he's going to talk. But anyway, please, uh, Morisan, I'm going to... Uh, um, yes, uh, let's talk. Uh, Morisan, please. Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm a director of the view from the bottom of the lake. Um, this film is a uh, kind of like psychological horror. And this, I, I, I'd I, like to say this uh, story is kind of typical, um, but it's really fun for like, you cannot, um, you cannot, um, uh, what say, <laughs> okay, so you cannot, uh, uh, you know, you have to watch it to see it. You cannot, yeah. like, I eyes off. It's very difficult to eye, eye, eyes yeah. off from the story. Yeah, that's what I want to say. <laughs> like, it's just only 40 minute story, but I, I, be, I, I know you enjoy it. Okay, yes, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And Ito san, please uh, introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, hello. My name is Kenshin Ito. えっと、私が現場で一番あの意識気をつけたことなんですけど、やはりあの役者の方には最大限のあのパワー、力を発揮してもらいたいと思って、あのコミュニケーションを取ることをずっと常に意識してました。ありがとうございます。<笑> 
Yeah. Hi. Yeah. So uh, the uh, he's uh, you know uh, Ito san uh, Ito uh, Kenshin Ito san. Uh, he, uh, I think you are the producer, right? Producer. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Hi. But but he's on set, and what he focus on what to uh, as his job is to communicate with the actors, uh, make the actors feel comfortable to make the best performance from them. That's what he did. That's what he. Think it's going to be uh, his uh, the most important thing. Uh, arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. And uh, also, I think uh, today we have uh, the actor, main actor, uh, Morisan. Could you introduce him and uh, he's going to talk? Right. Mm -hmm. So um, his name is Taeriku Kamizuru. Uh, he is uh, uh, <laughs> our main character. Uh, his role character is uh, Naoki. Uh, he's kind of a very mysterious guy. So and what what you want to know about him? Like, no, uh, I think I want to hear from him. Yeah. Okay, Kamizuru san, ano, do do introduce yourself. Japanese language. Hi. Ah, now the video is playing. Yes. Okay. 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 えー、まず最初にですね、えっ、ー、と、2014年に僕の師匠である中台達也がですね、ジャパンフィルムに、あのー、行かせていただいて、それの報告をしたんですけども、師匠が、えっ、ー、と、立ったロサンゼルスのジャパンフィルムで、えっ、ー、と、ノミネートをいただけたことは、すごく、えっ、ー、と、本当に光栄に思いますし、中台達也もすごく喜んでおられました。Uh, could you, okay, uh, so I'm going to translate far, sorry. And uh, so uh, his name is Tairiku, and uh, actually he's a uh, kind of senpai. It's like uh, uh, he's a senior, like uh, he's learning from the acting from the guy. His name is uh, uh, Tatsuya Nakadai, is uh, one of the very, very famous, popular uh, Japanese actor uh, from like a Kurosawa film. I, I think uh, the, you know, the guys, the audience knew it, but you know, uh, that guy, uh, the, he is the one uh, teaching him, Tailiku, the acting, and he actually uh, tell, told him about, you know, he is, you know, uh, in the Japan Film Festival 2023, because uh, the Nakadai-san, uh, uh, he's a film, and also he actually came to Los Angeles before for the, this film festival. And uh, and he told me told him about it, and uh, uh, Nakadai-san said like you know oh it's a good very good job, and then he really uh, be happy about it. Mm -hmm. uh, to you know uh, the Taiyik-san is you know now on, on the uh, on screen in Japan Film Festival. Ah, すみません。はい。で、このキャストはあの相手役が清家さんって方で、あの稲川幸雄さんの。有名なところでやってた方と一緒に共演できてですね、とても素晴らしい作品になったと思います。Okay, so、uh, the other guy, the other、uh, the main character, he,、uh, he's a Seike-san.、Uh, he is learning the,、uh, the acting from the、uh, Nagao-san. And it's one of the,、uh, the very, I think it's a popular Japanese、uh, the actor or like the, the uh, acting Japanese, coach. And... Uh, famous Japanese like, stage director. Oh, stage director. Okay,、uh, he's、uh, learning from him, and、uh, so、uh, those two actors is actually very, you know,、uh, their、uh, the coach or like them、um, teaching acting, learning acting is a very good、uh, one, uh, good actor, so and a good uh, do, uh, the stage director. So the、uh, the film gonna be very interesting and very fun to watch it. はい。えー、so I have a question. えー、質問がありますので、ちょっと僕の方からさせてください。So it's about the acting.、Uh, because the, uh, uh, Tai Lik-san, your character is very, very kind of,、uh, you know,、uh, difficult to portray.、Uh, is there anything, how,、uh, the difficulty or the, how you enjoy to be that guy? えっと、すごい、あの、Tai Lik-san のあのキャラクター難しいなと思いながら、こう何かこう、がん、えっ、ー、と、なんだろうな。こう自分が気をつけたところとかこういったところあの特に気をつけましたみたいなキャラクター作りに関してちょっとあの一言いいたただけたらと思いますそうですね役作りはもう半年以上前からずっと台本が届いてから作り上げていってですねもう本当に一心不乱に自分の役具の生まれだったりとか抱えてるものっていうのをすごく作り上げていきました。でその話の内容的にお父さんにはわからないけれどもあの映像を見てる人からはちょっと何かが欠落してる
人間だなっていうのを感じ取っていただけるように声のトーンだったりとか自分でどうすればそういった表現ができるんだろうっていうのはすごく考えました。Okay, so、uh, because of the, this character is very difficult, so he kind of、uh, prepared like a six month to、uh, portray the, this character, get into his skin. And、uh, so, uh, and actually, you know, I think the viewer, the audience can see the, this character missing something. And、uh, I think from the father, it's in, in the film,、uh, that he cannot see it, but maybe the audience can. Feel it like, oh, maybe this guy is some,、uh, missing something, like a kind of, you know, the, not, not a weird, but as a character.、Uh, he kind of developing、uh, to think what is his you know, history when he,、uh, like from the childhood to the, you know, getting adult.、Uh, he kind of tried to、uh, get that thing into him a lot and、uh, make the character. So please、uh, enjoy to watch it and feel it. こんな感じかな<笑><笑><笑>はい、えー、とではすみません、えー、と森さんの方から、えー、とこの作品のオーディエンスの方たちにちょっとメッセージをあの最後にいただきたいと思います。はい。So, the view from the bottom of the lake is a, a horror story. And so,、uh, horror is what's、uh, making horror? What, what's making horror is so fun is like horror is no limit. We can kill people and we can see a lot of blood and anything we can do. So maybe this is the big,、uh, biggest point. Like horror is has a big fun. So please enjoy. Just so, yeah. <laughs> Hey, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so、uh, I think、uh, today is going to be、uh, still, you know, the people can register、uh, from our online site,、uh, can watch the film. So if uh, people, uh, the, uh, the, the viewers, if you want to, you know, very interesting what she's talking about,、uh, the, the, you know, the story, please go to our, our、uh, homepage and you still can watch it, you know, online. So,、uh, and it's also worldwide、uh, from everywhere、uh, can watch it, you know, and not only Japan, but also like in America or like other country in Asia, Europe, you know. So please, please go watch the,、uh, the view bottom from the lake. I think that we kind of Bundle it and it, the short film is going to be in one, so uh, uh, you guys can watch you know, the many, many, many films. And、uh, so, thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Mada, I don't know if you can't get a lot of money. I think it's a little bit of a lot of money. I think it's a little bit of a lot of money. I think it's a little bit of a lot of money. I think it's a little bit of a lot of money. I think it's a little bit of a lot of money. It's about the kanashimi. That's a Japanese word. And、uh, maybe it's like a sadness or something like that. And today we have the,、uh, the Michael. I think you are the director. So could you please uh, you know, uh, say something to the audience? Sure.、Um, th thank you for having me.、Um, I'm, I'm very honored to be a part of、uh, the Japan Film Festival. I'm really, really thank you for having me.、Um, I'm especially honored because. I'm obviously not、uh, Japanese.、Um, and this film is really something that speaks to you know, the universal、um, emotions of grief and sadness and love and hope.、Um, it's not a horror film, <laughs> it's not a, a virtual reality film. Those sound very cool.、Um, and this is, a, you know, this is a drama film. And,、uh, and really, it was, it was brought on because、um, a number of years ago, almost five years ago, Um, I lost my father,、um, and,、uh, and it was kind of sudden. And it just sort of threw me for a, a, a big roller coaster of emotions.、Um, and I didn't know how to, to navigate through it. So, being an artist,、um, the only thing I could do was make a film.、Um, but then we had this COVID thing kind of come in the middle of it. So, it sort of delayed、um, the process. But,、um, you know, so it was. First, inspired by what I was going through in trying to navigate my life without,、um, without my dad in it. And then,、uh, completely randomly,、um, it was、uh, connected to this idea that、um, 
you know, almost a, well, a little over 10 years ago, there were, you know, these random personal items that were showing up on the beach along North America, along with Alaska, you know, down, down the coast. And these were items that um, had come across the sea from Japan after the tsunami and the earthquake um, in 2011. And there are, there are stories um, to all those pieces. And, uh, and I heard one such story that was similar about um, someone finding a soccer ball uh, and then uh, and there was Japanese writing on it. Um, and then it came, they managed to track down the owner and send it back. And, and, you know, this was someone who had lost his childhood soccer ball uh, in the, in the tsunami. and was just like shocked to like have it sent back to him. And so I really wanted to show that like, you know, it's just a simple act of human kindness um, can show how we're all connected um, and that it does not matter what language you speak or, or what country you live in. Um, we all feel sadness. We all feel grief. Uh, we all feel hope and we all feel love. Uh, and so that, that's kind of where Kaneshimi came from. Wow, thank you very much, Mark. And I'm sorry to hear that, you know, uh, about your father. Thank you. And, uh, but, you know, also the your film is uh, very, for me, you know, it's kind of, uh, I, I don't know if this is right to say, but kind of familiar with the, the story, like uh, something from the other country or the other states or, you know, the, uh, the something from the ocean connect the you know the people and uh, what is very interesting uh your film is you know uh they share uh like the same kind of sadness and like the like the family kind of love you know they kind of sharing the love with each other that, that I, I think really that's very interesting too and uh, mike I, I have a question about your film is uh, why you choose that item uh, because it can be like you said soccer ball is can be like that or maybe like a the paper like a, the message in the bottle or you know something like that but but, but you choose that is that uh connected with your personal experience or yeah absolutely so you know we're, we're talking about um a baseball glove mm -hmm. and uh you know i'm my father and i had a big uh, love for baseball here and here in the states um you know coming from los angeles we long time Los Angeles Dodgers fans, um, you know, but um, I also, you know, in my research and I had known this, but you know, that, that baseball is very big in Japan. Um, and uh, yes, there's major leagues, uh, of course, but there's also, uh, I learned that um, high school baseball is actually almost even bigger. Um, and I had, uh, I had found some articles in my research that after the tsunami, there were a lot of communities who were so, they didn't know how to, how do we go on? What can we do to sort of regroup and come together? And playing baseball was one of those things that, that, that uh, the communities, uh, you know, wanted still do. And it, it kind of reminded me of the way, you know, uh, I mean, we just had the, what was the 22nd anniversary of 9-11, um, you know, in New York City, they came and played, you know, the, uh, they played baseball after a big tragedy. Uh, and so knowing that there was this, you know, my own connection and love for the, for the game and knowing that it's really popular and, you know, and taken quite seriously in, in Japan, I knew that that, that connection was, was there. Uh, and so that, that's why I, I, I chose that. Okay, gotcha. It is funny, like, it isn't, sorry, it's not funny, but, you know, actually, my, my father, uh, he died when I was 19, and um, because my father is a very weak guy, uh, he had a surgery when he was young, and, and he, he's always, you know, very struggling to be stronger, because he's always weak, and uh, me, the, the one thing, what I still remember, is that he is the one who teach me uh, how, how to you know, do the baseball thing you know the catching a ball and he bought me the grab and I bought me that you know the ball and we did the catch ball only like a 10 minutes like a once in a week or something like that but still that's my very precious memories and, and that always re remind me my father or love that kind of stuff so I think uh, we, we have same, the kind of same same thing same here <laughs> same here yeah, yeah so <laughs> and actually your film is on a theater uh in-person screening uh tomorrow uh on saturday is there any um, actors or clues living closer yeah, to Los um, Angeles or? i i'm i'm expecting some of my actors to um to appear uh the lead actor austin uh basis 
Um, it's going to appear, and I've sent uh, messages out to the rest of my cast. Uh, and, and I'm also really, uh, you know, thrilled because um, my uh, my cultural consultant, who made sure I was accurate and authentic in the way we were, you know, portraying um, a Japanese home and and translating the language and all that, um, she is also going to be attending. And um, um, she 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 mentioned in her email that she might be someone you know is Johanna. Uh, Yukiko Haneda. Oh, I know her. <laughs> really? Wow. I, I could not have made this film without oh. her. Okay, uh, got it. Yeah. Absolutely not. You know, she uh, she's a terrific artist herself, mm. uh, and she helped me make sure that that we were authentic and honest, um, and um, and just accurate in, in everything, every little detail. Gotcha. So, Michael, uh, uh, if you don't mind, you know, could you kind of, you know, email me about who, who can possibly be at the screening? Because uh, if I knew it, then I, I can, you know, uh, 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 call her name or his name. And are you there? Are you there? You know, it's going to be. OK, fun. yeah, I, I, I did respond earlier that I was going to be on tonight. And um, uh -huh. but I'll give you I'll, I'll write again with the names. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. And hopefully they'll all be there. All right. Thank you, Michael. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, so I think uh, uh, we kind of introduced uh, that uh, for the you know, short film section. Uh, uh, unfortunately, only we have those three, but fortunately, we could hear a lot, you know, about the film from them. And uh, I think, uh, you know, the people are going to enjoy it. And uh, still, you know, uh, the, those are the one bundle uh, you can get, you guys can watch online until, uh, I, I mean, I can buy a ticket and it's going to be you can you guys can watch until this weekend so i uh, still have a, a lot of a chance to, to watch those beautiful uh short films the section uh selections you know different uh because a horror film and uh, those kind of heartwarming drama we have many 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 different uh type of the you know movies so i hope you guys are gonna enjoy watch it but anyway thank you for uh you know your introduction about your film uh, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mori san and Ito san and also the uh, Tairik san. And uh, so I just want to say thank you for you guys to make the film because the uh, you know for the Jap uh, I live in Los Angeles and uh, the Japanese film to watch is very kind of difficult because we cannot watch we don't have much time to have not, uh, don't have much opportunity to watch Japanese film. So uh, uh, but you know. You guys keep on making a film about you know Japanese culture or Japan related something that reminds all over the world, especially in Los Angeles, you know, uh, to show the people about Japan. It's very important. It's very, uh, you know, we we have to keep on doing it to make Japanese, uh, you know, the uh, entertainment and Japanese films to more bigger, like Korea or like China or you know, other countries. So please keep on making a film and please uh, keep on acting in a good way. And I hope to, like a Tylik san please uh, come to America and then act, you know, <laughs> do something, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, that, because now it's a many uh, chances. It's, out there, especially in uh, America, you know, mm. there are many Japanese stories. So I think you, you, you're going to be fitted. Yeah. And uh, those are those are uh, acting good to the kids. They see the American no honey more. Hi, this is she. I got those. I must say. Yeah. So I'm going to put the view into a uh, gallery view. So now we can see everybody. Hi. Yeah, have, have a good Bye. festival. I wish, wish I could be you. there. Yeah. We, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I wish you are here, you know. Yeah. But we'll see you soon. Okay. Okay, take care. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.